Okay, here's one more function, f of x is equal to 1 over x, and we're told to find the derivative. And we'll do this using the definition of the derivative, and then we'll start learning some shortcuts and some speed tricks for this. But let's apply the definition of a derivative here. f prime of x is going to be the limit, and I'll use the h notation here, the h or the delta x notation are equivalent. A lot of people and authors in textbooks prefer the h notation just because it's a little bit easier to write. But the derivative will be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So what is f of x plus h? Well, we just need to take x plus h and put it in for the variable there. So that'll give us the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over x plus h minus f of x. So that's going to be minus 1 over x, and all that over h. Okay, now we need to simplify this. And the, the way to simplify this one is to take these two fractions and write them as a single fraction. So I'm going to write the limit as h approaches 0. Uh, to write those as a single fraction, I first need to get a common denominator. So this first fraction is going to be 1 over x plus h times x over x and then we have the minus sign right there and then I'm going to have 1 over x times x plus h over x plus h and all of that is still over h. So now we can write these two fractions as a single fraction. So let's come down to the next line and write the limit as h approaches 0 and what I'll get here when I combine these fractions these fractions are both going to have a denominator of x plus h times x and the numerator is going to be x minus this so I'll write x minus x plus h and that denominator here is x plus h times x. I'll write x plus h times x, and then all of that is over h. And this will be the limit as h approaches 0. Well, if we have x minus this x here, those are going to cancel out, and this minus sign here will still distribute onto that h. So we get a negative h over x plus h times x, and all that is over h. And then mathematically, this h and this h will cancel out, and we're just left with a negative 1 on top. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 1 over x plus h times x. And we can take the limit here. We can let h go to 0. That's what we're doing. We let h go to 0 and we're left with negative 1 over x squared. And that's our answer. And if you want to, you could write it in exponential notation. It would be negative x to the negative 2. Or um, write it with a negative exponent. Um, those are mathematically equivalent. Either way, that is the derivative of our original function.